Good evening, everybody, and thank you for uh, coming tonight. Um, my name is Fodi Hatsidimitriou, and that's why he didn't want to introduce me, because he can't say my last name. <laughs> um, there's a couple of familiar faces in here, and I'm glad to, to see you again. Uh, I'm a, a general contractor, and I studied architecture. And it really all started when I was about seven years old, when I took apart an alarm clock and put it back together again. And I realized through the praise of others and what I was doing that I have this ability to be a reverse engineer. So I'm curious to take things apart and build them again. So in my mind, I'm constantly taking things apart and going, how would I go about building that? And is there a way I can improve on it? And obviously, whatever we do, we want to follow the building code. We want to apply for building permits. And to your question, Anything that affects structural, electrical, mechanical, plumbing, you need a permit. And you are well advised to do so because, as Stephen pointed out, if the city comes after you, they come after you with everything they can. And they will just make a huge mess of your project and cause terrible headaches. You don't really want that. So um, the interesting thing about the building code is it is not retroactive. That means that when we build something, we have to comply to the building code at that time. So the city can't come back to you and say that your house that was built 30, 40, 50 years ago has to be by code. However, anytime you touch something, you have to make an effort to build it by the current building code standards. So we apply for building permits, we get the inspectors out. and. Typically, I'll talk about renovations right now. Typically, the inspectors understand that in a renovation, you're not going to achieve the building code 100%. So there's always a negotiation. There's always some kind of um, compromise on site to figure things out. What can you do? How much can you achieve? And they'll work with you on that as long as you are trying to meet the building code standards. So let's look at this renovation. So we're going to do some demolition. Uh, we're going to do some interior work, some framing, some bulkheads, some partitions, insulation, gypsum board. Um, oh, that shouldn't be their skylight. That's a mistake. Sorry. Um, some doors. Uh, some, we got to make the furnace a fire separation and lockable. Um, baseboards, trim, painting, floors, finishes, kitchen cabinets, bathroom, some laundry things, some electrical. Uh, stuff that we have to take care of, some cleanup, and maybe we're going to put in Wi-Fi cable security systems and that kind of stuff to upgrade the basement. So with that kind of a reno, we can also have, sorry, I, I think what I didn't mention is that's about a base price, $65,000 to do that. That doesn't mean it's going to get you to a permitted uh, legal basement apartment, but it's the start of a basic reno.